Okay, welcome back. Yeah, she's still there. Picking she's up where we left off. <laughs> she's we fixed the frame. Okay. All right, we're good. Sure. I'll see you tomorrow. All right, picking up where we left off. All right. The only way we're going to go out is... I still want some damn pizza. The only way we're going to get out is by possessing coal. Oh, boy. <laughs> This doesn't seem like a well thought out plan at all. <laughs> I'm really sorry. <coughs> I hate myself for doing this. You understand, right? I just, I need to go out tonight. You need to go out tonight. Oh my gosh. All right. She so desperately needs to go out tonight. That she's going to take possession of her friend. Yeah, I know. It's too late to turn back now. No, it's not. Uh, all right. We're going to try to bust out of here. To just, to just just to go party. <laughs> Locked. Of course it is. Doesn't seem to be anybody around. How ridiculous does she look in this outfit? <laughs> All right. The lobby's completely deserted. The front door is right there. Well, hello, Cole. God damn Judy. it. <laughs> Should have figured. They're late for day trip, isn't it? Uh, 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 stars. <laughs> Cole was just, um, taking me to see the shooting stars. A apparently there's, like, tons up there tonight. Have you seen them yet? Oh, she's super clever. Listen, I don't know if Professor Dawkins would be alright with you going outside in the middle of the night. Please. <laughs> Please. It's only gonna be, like, a few minutes, and Cole is with me. And... I, I, I... I've never seen a shooting star. No, oh. <laughs> she's good. She's too good. All right, go ahead. I'll pretend I never saw you. What's up, Cole? Cat got your tongue? Hmm. Uh. If I say speak, he'll just kind of make a sound. He'll just go. <laughs> uh, he said. He he doesn't feel too much like talking today. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't feel like talking today. I think his. Um, his grandmother died. Yeah, his grand. Something. That's the ticket. His grandmother died. He's uh, in a bad mood. He. Uh, he's in a really bad mood. I, I, he hasn't even said a word all day. <laughs> Gee, this could never go wrong. Avoid. Cole, Cole we, we should probably get going now. <laughs> How could he possibly? How could he possibly see through us? Hold up there. What's wrong with you, Cole? Nothing. Cole. <laughs> he touched him. What happened? Jesus Christ! What the hell was that all about? I think I know exactly what this was all about. Look at her. She's trying to look confused. Like I don't know what's going on. <laughs> ah, busted. <laughs> I told you not to go, and you disobeyed me. You know how dangerous that was for Cole and for you? How, huh, Jody? Don't you remember Kirsten's birthday party? You know what can happen with Aiden, right? Right? It's Aiden. Not Aiden. <laughs> and yes, I believe she remembers very well. Better than you do. I'm only trying to protect you. She's just being a kid, a teenager. 
She just wants to have fun. I'm sorry. Yeah. Well, good luck with that. <coughs> hmm. That was pretty quick chapter. That was over in like a, 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 a nothing, no time. <laughs> Alone. Uh oh. Uh, it's about to get heavy on us. Jesus, I know exactly what part this is. This is one of the... There's only a couple parts in this game that made me tear up a little bit first time I saw it. This is one of them. <sighs> this son of a bitch. I don't know how to tell you this, Jody, so I'm just going to tell you. Your mom and I, we've been transferred. We have to leave the base. Transferred my ass. We really want to take you with us, but we think... Everyone thinks that it would be better for you to stay here with Professor Dawkins. Of course, we'll come see you whenever it's possible. And no, you won't. Better, you'll join us in our new home. You have no intention okay. of ever seeing her again. This is goodbye. Well, I think it's for the best. Goodbye, dear. Son of a bitch, don't touch her. Only the mom gave a crap about her. Ugh. <sighs> Be brave, darling. I know this is difficult. I'm sure it'll work out. We gotta go, Susan. Just give me a minute, Philip. I have officially had enough of you. Kill him. Die. I fucking hate you. I hate you so much and I want you dead. Yeah, I'm choking him. I'm not going to stop either. Die, you fucking son of a bitch. Uh, You're choking! Tony! I know. I know I am. I gotta let go. No, I am not! Fine! Uh, You're trying to kill me! I got you, evil! You're a monster! Do you hear me? A monster! Gosh, I hate that son of a bitch. I know how you feel. But you made the right decision. What, to not kill him? Bullshit. <sighs> well, those are her parents pretty much from this point on. Jeez. <coughs> Navajo. Oh, this is a pretty cool chapter. It's kind of a long chapter, but it's pretty cool. So this is after this is after broken. The first time we've actually seen after the after that point, after the beginning. She's in the desert. I like your shirt. You still have those same pants, huh? Look, I'm totally exhausted and thirsty. 
And I have no clue where we fucking are, so just play nice and give me a break, okay? Well, snappy, snappy. Why are you even all the way out here in the middle of nowhere town? Well, I guess that's the point. I mean, I don't think the CIA can... Even they, their reach reaches as far as out here. Yes, put your thumb up. What an asshole that he would honk his horn. I'm acknowledging that I saw you, but I'm not going to pick you up. <laughs> Are you serious? Sexy ass girl like this, and they're not going to pick her up, really? I mean, come on. What, what truck driver is not going to pick this girl up? Am I right? What are the odds of her being a serial killer? Everything's going to be okay. In the middle of nowhere. I'm dying of thirst. And everything's fucked. But it's going to be okay. Trying to tell your snappy ass that there's a farm over there. <laughs> it's okay, Aiden. There's no reason to be nervous. Okay, so we're gonna ask these people for some water or, uh,. Maybe for some, some shelter. There's a water spigot right there. Just, just, just get some water. That's what I would do. Fuck it. Oh. Back off there. I'm not gonna hurt you. That dog is mean as hell. All right, knock on the door. Whoa, you see those textures pop in? <laughs> Okay. I bet this game will look awesome remastered on the PlayStation 4. I mean, it looks awesome now. Hey, I I'm so sorry to disturb you. I I'm just looking for some place to spend the night, and, and I was hoping that... You can't stay here. Sorry. Oh, come on. Can I just... Can I just spend the night in your barn? Please, I, I mean, I promise I will be gone by morning. I told you you can't stay here. I need to leave now. I can't tell who's talking. Can you? <laughs> Which one of them is talking? Ah, uh, okay. Okay. You can stay here tonight. Thank you, older guy. The younger guy is a douche. Okay. What's your name? I'm Jody. I'm Paul. Paul. These are my sons, Corey and Jay. Corey and Jay. My mother, Shimasani. Shimasani? Don't be surprised if she doesn't answer you. She hasn't spoken in years. That's normal. We're about to have dinner. Would you like to eat with us? Yeah, thank you. Oh, she's totally exhausted and thirsty and hungry, I'm sure. Yay, dinner with strangers. Isn't that the best kind of dinner? You mean the most awkward kind of dinner? Okay. Okay, so... I will... I am a meat eater, and I want the meat. I want no damn potato. I will take corn, though. I do like me some corn on the cob. Okay, I, good thing I fucking looked at the camera, otherwise I wouldn't have gone over. <laughs> Alright, leave a like, leave a comment, go to the next part.